our job for today to get this plate to fit the four jaw chuck. Um, so what I've got to do is machine this down to get it to fit into this nice little recess um, and then I'll drill in the four holes um, to hold it. This this is a special adapter plate with a um, screw thread in for the uh, Myford lathe. So I'll get this put on the lathe and then we'll uh, spin it up and get this um, centre feature turned. Right, that's how that fits on, nice and tight. Right, I'll get that spun up now, and we'll get the uh, feature cut on there. I think I'll uh, I'll treat the tool to a new cutter. I think for this. I've just come up against my first obstacle. Um, this particular tool post won't reach, so I'm going to have to swap it out for the compound, I think. Um, yeah, there's not much I can do about that. I mean, I can get it over. Um, but if I swap the tool to that way and slide the tool, let me get the might be able to make it work. Let's give it a go. Uh, I'd probably get it on a bit of an angle, wouldn't I? Yeah, I think I'll get it on an angle. So that cutter is still going to cut. In fact, that might actually work out better because that will give a nice square edge. Yeah, I'm just setting that cutter up so that the edge of that cutter is square so when I come to do the shoulder that'll give a nice clean cut on that shoulder so Finished. Um, 
not sure how I'm going to get it off yet, but I'll work that out in a minute. Hopefully a bit of force, it won't have gone on there too tight. Hey, there we go. Brilliant. Good job. Right, let's get it set up in the mill. What my plan is, is to remove these two jaws from the chuck and then hold it in the vise using these two jaws. Get them wound in a bit. So, I don't want that uh, filling up a swarf. Right, excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate these holes in now. I can find a pin, the right size. Right, that's just... Um, Let's bugger that up, so right, I can't I can't get the table far enough forward to get to the back block, so I'm gonna to have to whip that out of there and maybe put a one, two, three block in there or something. Right, let's try that. So we can get to that one. No worries, but can we get the table far enough back now to get to the front ones? If not, we might have to do this in two stages. Nope, we can't. Okay. Either that, find something smaller. Alright, a couple of E blocks. Try that. Yep, perfect. Right, so what I've got to do now is get this pin in the first hole. So what I've done now is I'm zeroing out the DRO zeroing out the DRO yep so this one is zero zero and then I'll make my way around finding those centers Seven zero on the X and zero point one one zero on the Y. And that one is zero point. 060 on the X and 76.220 on the Y. X, Y, and the same. Right, so we've got the measurements now. Just 
lock that down. Right, I need to lock this down. That plate needs to be locked on there. Then I can drill out the hole from the coordinates. Let's uh, take it over to the lathe and see how well. Oops! See how well we did. Well, it looks pretty good by eye, but we'll indicate it in. All right, I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to show you exactly how we've done. I don't know until you know. Right, where can we indicate it? Let's indicate there to start with, shall we? See how well we did there. We'll start at the four. Yep, yeah, you can see that. Right, there we go then. See how much we're out. Shouldn't be anything out because it was turned on the lathe. There we go. Well, we're not back to full yet. Zero run out. Let's indicate it on here now. Wrong button. There we go. Zeroed out on there. Two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Alright, we've got five tenths run out. I'm happy with that. Millimetres is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 of a millimetre. Put a bit of oil on there. Could be some surface. There. Could be some surface muck on there. I'll just run that up with a scotch brush. Point five of a thou. I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Can you see that? Yep. You can see that. Right. Let's try that again now. Point four, four tenths. I'm pretty happy with that, considering it's a it's a four jaw and everything's uh, indicated anyway. I've just been round and uh, tightened the screws. 
to their final position. And I've now got to run out of a maximum of two tenths. That's pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Two tenths is fine by me because it doesn't really mean anything because everything gets indicated in on this anyway. But um, as long as I've got it somewhere near, so we'll call that jobs a good one. Excellent. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.